Hi there, this is uh, Charlotte for GamerCast.net here with another pickups, uh, well with a pickups video, I haven't done one since Japan I believe and probably haven't had my fringe cut since then either it's pretty long um, so I've just got a few things, I have picked up quite a few things since then however um, some of them were like uh, spares so I've traded those in against other things the brilliant PlayNation games as usual um, if you live anywhere near Croydon in um, the UK then uh, or like if you just are down near London for the day uh, be sure to give them a visit because they are awesome um, for instance I picked up this lovely look at that I'm not even sure what colour that is it's not like teal it's almost like uh, no what is that colour called can't even think what the colour is lovely PS1 controller um, I do like lovely kind controllers um, whilst mm, yeah okay um, I didn't pick up very much actually on the last visit uh, picked up a copy of Space Ace I've wanted this for a while now but I never really picked it up um, I've got a, a trade voucher at Play Nation Games because I always bring quite a lot to them um, so I kind of just chip at it every single time I go there that was only 7 99 so um, I wouldn't have paid that if it was in cash, but because it's for trade, then I don't mind so much. I also picked up this, um, which I've kind of wanted for a while, but uh, so I picked up a copy of, a copy of Terra Enigma. Um, I've never seen this personally. Um, I, I picked up um, Illusion of Time, Illusion of Gaia, whichever one you know the name of. I picked that up a while ago, um, and we picked up Soul Blazer as well, which I think was the original. Or was that the sequel? I can't think. Um, but yeah, Terra Enigma is one that I've not actually personally seen myself ever before, so I thought, you know what, I'll just pick this up. Um, I think it was £50, but again, uh, I had loads of store credits, so I didn't technically pay anything for it. Um, so those were cool. Um, picked up some other things as well. Um, only a couple of these, though, yeah. A uh, copy of uh, Graffiti Kingdom um, on the PS2, Japanese. Kind of bright. Kathleen already has this. She picked this up in America. Um, the first trip we made to E3 in LA. Um, but yeah, it was £2, so I was like, okay, I'll get that. Also got this. This is um, a simple series game. It looks, ooh, it looks to be um, about basically learning to drive. They call it a uh, licensing simulation revisited traffic law, volume eighty six. I love the simple series because some of the games are really weird and some of them are actually really good and they kind of hit and miss. But um, oh, Tim picked this up. I didn't pick this up. Um, episode one of Zena Saga. Again, that's Japanese, but um, didn't come out over here. So he thought, yeah, okay, I'll get it. It was only it was only five pounds. So and that goes with his Zena Saga episode two. I think he's got episode, oh maybe he's not got episode 3 and then this as well, I thought oh yeah it's a puzzle game, awesome, however I think it might be word based but that's okay because I'm still learning Japanese, it's called Words of Puzzle Moji Pitan there you go. and that was only a pound as well um, <clears throat> so one thing that I do, um, what's the word, recommend to people, um, so it's great to be a collector and it's great to um, tell people that you're a collector. Sometimes obviously you don't, you, oh no, is that getting hurt? Sometimes you might not want to do that, um, obviously like if, you're, if you, you kind of safeguard your collection, uh, but sometimes it also pays off as well. Um, and you'll find that actually if you tell people that you're a collector and they maybe tell someone else that you're a collector you might find that you get things given to you or you get things sold to you at a very reasonable price um, this has gotten me free things before and which for which I'm very glad for and very thankful and it's also um, because uh, peop people know, who know my boyfriend know that I'm a collector and they also give him things as well um, so what should I do first? I'll do mine first. These were very lovely, lingly donated by um, a friend uh, called Quang, who's a uh, 
an amazing collector. Um, however, he only collects consoles and Castlevania games. She's got an amazing Castlevania games collection and an amazing console collection as well. However, it does mean that if he does ever get a console given to him or he gets a console that has loads of games, he doesn't actually play the games, so he's got no reason for them. So he gave me a lovely massive box of um, Famicom games. There we go. So much colour! Um, so I'll quickly run through these. Some of these I have, most of them I don't have though, so that's pretty cool. So this, I really wanted to get a copy of this in Japan, and I didn't. And now I'm really thankful uh, that I didn't buy it, because Quang got me a copy. So this is YY World. It's like a amalgamation sort of game of the um, the Konami characters at the time on the Famicom. It's supposed to be really, really good, so that's awesome. Goonies! I picked up Goonies too for pretty cheap. Um, I like the cover art, uh, so this is cool to have Goonies. Because it was Goonies that didn't come out over, over here. Goonies 2 came out over here. Um, what was this one? Oh. You don't say. I can't read that at short notice. I'm sure that I remember. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, it does say. Okay, it's Raid on Bungling Bay. Uh, Championship Load Runner. These are all like the kind of original series of titles. I didn't actually pick up any of this series um, whilst I was in Japan. Bomberman. Now I'm sure I picked up a copy of this. However, looking at the box art, I was like, well, the label art, I was like, oh, really? Uh, no, I'm not so sure. But I'm pretty sure I did. I can see a couple black cards there, so maybe. Uh, City Connection. I love Joe Coco games. Another Joko, uh, Formation Z or Z if you're from over here. Some kind of baseball. Baseball. Star Luster. I believe I already have this. Little schmuck. Classic Gallagher. Lovely label up. Super Mario Bros, which is awesome because I don't actually own any of these on the Famicom. And they've got such amazing casts. And look at the artwork. Um, baseball! Maths. Tennis. Mahjong. I can't count how many, I, well I couldn't count how many copies of this I saw in Japan. It was bloody everywhere and whenever it was somewhere there was like five billion of them in a box. Um, I actually have this as well but this is in much better shape than my car, a copy of Hyde Live, the first one. And just a couple more. <coughs> Jack and Pop, I had this as well. but This is again much nicer condition than the cart that I have. Pretty hard game, kind of like um, Bobble, bobble, but much harder. Ah, the awesome Mighty Bomb Jack. So there's some really amazing games in here. And again, another really good one. Elevator Action. Don't own a copy of this either. And Law of the West. Which has some really nice label art. So those were really cool. And thank you so much, Quang, for giving those to me. Um, I would be playing on them today, however... I have mislaid my step down converter. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in my last video. I still haven't found it. Um, which is silly because this flat is so tiny. It's like, how can it be lost? Um, so it's hanging around here somewhere. And uh, for the same reason, I want to find it so I can play on this. I picked this up off eBay recently. This is a Cool Boy 401 Famicom game. Now, I don't usually buy these things, but um, they'd listed it in the board games category of eBay. And it's got um, Chris and I can't even remember her name because I didn't play Resident Evil 5 for more than 5 seconds. Um, and it's like a 401 cart. I have a 84 in 1 MVS cart and I actually quite like that. And this looks similar. It's like an actual, there are this many games on here. Although there did seem to be a lot of Chippendale games listed. Um, but there's like a nice mix of games. So I thought, well, I think it was like £3. For £3, I'll give it a go, because you can't knock a, um, a silly, you know, Chinese so many games in one. Um, so some things that um, I've acquired recently. So those were from 
some of my friends being super duper kind. Uh, these are from some of Tim's friends being super duper kind. So it's like there was more of this. Um, however, this is the stuff that um, I didn't already have, so we kept this and we got rid of the rest. Uh, so. It's a lovely uh, Japanese boxed uh, 59 slot, well, 59, what do they call them? They're not slots. Oh, I'm trying to think. It's a memory card for the GameCube. Not quite as cool as the 251, is it? I think it's the 251s. But 59 slot, and the boxes are so cute. How cute is that box? Uh, VMU, can never have enough. Some lovely GameCube controllers, so one, two, and my favourite of the GameCube ones, this is a Hori um, digital controller. That's a really nice controller. Uh, Game Boy Advance link cable. Well, uh, for the GameCube, um, ooh, a uh, an SP ion battery, because you know why not? Uh, some rumble packs. These are actually Japanese ones. Load of um, these Japanese as well. Probably Japanese. Load more. Uh, Uh, memory cards, so I think that's another 59. There's another 59 with one of the awesome um, stickers you get with Animal Crossing. Another 59. Yep. Another 59. Another 59. And another 59. So those are cool. You can never have enough GameCube, control, uh, GameCube memory cards. Um, there's a lot of N64 stuff with this as well. I kept a couple of controllers. Um, two nice black ones. Uh, the, the analog sticks aren't too bad. Got the um, the. Oh no, this is the the broadband slot for a GameCube, a purple GameCube. I'm not sure why. A um, how is that an official thing? That's just basically a red and red and yellow. Game Boy Advance games. Uh, Mr. Driller 2. Yoshi's Island Mario Land 3. Is it Mario Land? Super Mario Advance. Uh, Japanese Mario Kart Advance. Advance Wars. Super Mario World Super Mario Advance 2. Um, SpongeBob episodes. Astro Boy Omega Factor. And uh, is that Wario World? Yeah. Wario World. And Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising. So there's a nice little collection of Game Boy Advance games, pretty good ones too. Uh, this, which I'm very happy with. Um, so Kazing already owns one of these, however, I don't own one, and I actually play on my um, micro. Uh, my my Game Boy Advance a fair amount, so this was really awesome. Um, a lovely, I'm not sure if they use if it's an Onyx, but a lovely Game Boy Micro. I've wanted one of those for a while, just to like play around with. Obviously, it has its downsides because you can only play Game Boy Advance games, and I actually play more Game Boy Original than Game Boy Advance, but still very very nice. Thank you, Simon. Um, and then some N64 games. There was a lot of these and we had a lot of them already, but we kept Super Mario 64. Don't think that's the Rumble pack. No, that says Su Super. No, that's not. Uh, Mario Tennis 64, Japanese. Um, American copy of Star Fox or Pilot, uh, Light Wars is known over here. American copy of Excite Bike 64. Japanese copy of F-Zero X. Um, 
uh, ISS Japanese and uh, Mischief Makers Japanese as well and then the one which I really like out of that box the most Japanese copy of Majora's Mask yay if you haven't um, seen my uh, unboxing I recently picked up the um, Majora's Mask Special Edition 3DS XL new 3DS XL um, and this is one of my favourite Zelda games um, Ocarina of Time is still a good game but I much prefer this one uh, with that Also got a host of manuals, uh, Diddy Kong, Wave Race, oops, Star Fox, Super Mario World, GoldenEye, these are mainly American you can tell because the orange bar, uh, Donkey Kong 64, Mario Party 2, Excite Bike, Diddy Kong Racing, um, control screen thing, poster, poster, oh there's another control. Oh, Yoshi, Yoshi's. Oh, that's cool. Cute little Yoshi thing. Um, a Yoshi controller map as well. Uh, Metroid manual. Paper Mario man manual. Unfortunately, no Paper Mario though. Uh, ooh, Perfect Dark manual. Wave Race controls. Nice little Mario Kart 64 um, manual. Though no Mario Kart 64. <laughs> Um, F0 manual, that's quite nice looking uh, Mario Kart controls actually no, these are power-ups or are they just is there controls in this? should be controls yeah, controls as well uh, 1080 manual F0 controls lovely Majora's Mask manual and accompanying English, well American manual um, as well as the control screen for Majora's Mask so all I'm missing is the box um, but this was obviously from someone who didn't didn't keep boxes. Mario 64 manual Japanese as well, and the control sheet as well. So those are really cool. I do like a good manual. Um, okay. Um, however, the shining glory of this set that he was given is this. This is a. PS2. Um, so with this I can now play loads of games that I could not before, such as this selection of games I picked off from Play Nation. Um, some more simple series of titles that Catherine got me a while ago, so um, Police Chase Down, uh, Super Maze Action, PDF Defense Force, Densha to go three. Densha to go Shinkansen. Uh, I could I could play these already on my um, PS1 test kits. However, now it's a little more. Like the PS1 te test kits can be quite hit and miss, and the lasers go on them quite easily. One of them is actually broken now, um, so I'd rather be using this uh, so I could play some more Abe Go Go. Or. Brilliant games such as uh, Ore no Cooking or Ore no Ryori, which I was recommended to buy and I still haven't played yet um, from Japan. I got that. Um, Crush Bandicoot, Counter Revolution War, the best game of puzzles ever, IQ, or Karushi as it's known over here. Um, I still got all these games that I need to play Horned Owl, uh, Gun Bullet, obviously, Point Blank. I still want to play this a lot. Bokanto Ipatsu Doronobu. And of course, Pingu. It also means that I can play on this, which Catherine got me a very long time ago. I've had this for years. Um, but I don't really get the opportunity to play it because it's American. It didn't come out over in the UK. Um, so uh, I can now finally play some Taiko. However, it's with the, um, the American game, so it's got a load of really horrible... Um, uh, covers. Oh well. Um, I'll just pick up some of the Japanese versions when we go to Japan next, and then uh, I will have some cool songs or like better songs to play. Basically, um, I think that's everything that I can think of. Um, there's a couple more games over there, but 
Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, I'm not showing you guys this. So, one of the coolest things about moving where we did was that we had a shop for retro gaming. Now, unfortunately, um, they closed for business um, about Christmas. Yeah, at Christmas. Um, so they had to get rid of a lot of their stuff. Um, they had some very cool stuff there. This is Hurdy Gurdy. Um, from, I think it was, was it IDOS? I think it was IDOS. Um, on the PS2, in fact, I have a copy. There we go. And that wasn't even uh, done intentionally. It's a copy of Hurdy Gurdy. IDOS? Cool. Um, you're a little sheep. No, it's not sheep. It's like these weird little dudes. It's like a puzzle game. And you have to um, herd you guys away, out, around. And he had one of these. Now I think this is Muckle. It doesn't actually say Muckle on it. Um, unfortunately one of his pieces of hair has come off, but apparently that's a thing that happens um, with this statue and his little arm comes off as well, but that's intentional. Um, so this is a cool little statue that I have. Far nicer quality than the Majora's Mask that I had, however this would only be given to um, like stores or um, Developers, things like that. He's really dusty. Ugh, really dusty. <laughs> um, so he's a cool little statue. Pretty heavy as well. <laughs> um, so he's nice, and I have him sitting on my shelf now um, with a LOM, which is Star Wars related, but like uh, not gaming at all. Um, so he's really cool. And he was. I can't remember how much he cost now. It was something like twenty pound. He was dead, dead cheap. I'm very thankful for that because he's awesome. Um, that's kind of it, I think. Um, oh, actually no. Sorry, you keep thinking this is ending, and then I'm like, oh no, actually, there was this thing I wanted to talk about as well. Um, so this video is going to be really long. One thing I did acquire recently, so um, I bought this clock for Catherine ages ago, um, in fact the date on it is 2006, so I'd imagine, I think I bought them when they came out, so that would make it um, nine years old, well, about nine years old. Um, and I bought this for her and we had it at uni, um, she took it, I think it was when we moved from uni down south, um, she, um, she stopped using it. Um, however, one of the second hands broke, which sucks. Um, however, I've now acquired a replacement. Um, so, if you do like the Famicom and you really like this design, the design is amazing. It's basically the... Um, I don't have a blue one, I don't think. Unless tennis was blue. No, tennis was purple. You get the idea. Well, that's like inverted, basically. So it's basically the design of these. See? Yeah? Um, there's actually three designs of these, however this is the one that I love. The other two are quite busy, um, and I think that these were um, like uh, UFO prizes. They say Nintendo prize on the box, and they're made from ba by Bam Presto. Um, the date on them, as you can see as well, is 2006, so they are like nine years old. <coughs> um, you can actually still purchase these. Um, they're $23 off of NCSX, National Console Support, who are an American-based company. Um, it's a lovely clock. And I'm just kind of basically selling them now. I think it was $16 postage to the UK as well. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's such a simple design. And it is my games room clock. No other games room clock, just this little guy here. Although this is now a spare because the motor stopped working. Well, the motor's not working on it properly and it would cost too much to get it replaced. Cost less to buy a new one, so. Um, I don't know if they still have loads of them in stock at this um, shop. However, if you do like the clock, you should give them a look. Um, I don't think I can put a link below, no I can put a link below, I'll put a link below to their website just in case if you are interested because I, it's a lovely clock. If you, because it, it's not like super gamey, it's like um, subtle, but the design of it is, is, you know, beautiful enough that anyone can appreciate it. Um, so I swear this is it now, no, nothing else to add.
nothing else to add. Um, no, uh, I've been playing with Jura's Mask recently, which is awesome. I'm um, getting back into that. Uh, let me know if you've been playing anything fun or if you've been picking up anything fun. Um, I do like to see a good pickup video, um, especially if you buy things for cheap because they're the more fun things to buy. Or if, like me, you've been really lucky and someone's um, donated things to your your collecting cause recently. Um, yeah, probably won't see me for another while yet. I don't tend to pick things up very often these days. Um, uh, this time of year it's a bit slow and I'm saving money and things like that. So, yeah, probably won't happen so much. There is actually some other things that I've picked up recently, but you know what? I still need to do a video for my arcade machine, so I'll do them with that. <laughs> um, I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Until then, bye.